Ah, okay. And uh, information for this class loan is OBT, right? OBT minus OBT. Why it's IT? Why it's IT? In minus oh, it's O W O W โอเคอ่าเดี๋ยวผมกดอ่าขอเข้าร่วมนะครับซึ่งไม่ได้อยู่ในเมลของส่วนนะครับขอรบกวนคุณอ่าขอรบกวนคุณแอคเซปต์น
I hope that you can hear me right. Excellent condition. The good thing for M605 is that everything has been set up quite well. You don't need to get the bad quality at the beginning as seen M604. That's uh, a little bit uh, worse than this. Okay, I need to open. The file from cloud seven days ago. เครื่องเขาช้านะครับอันนี้นี่เครื่องเก่าครับที่อยู่ที่มีเนี่ยเนื่องจากว่ารับ OBS ไม่ได้ผมต้องใช้เครื่องนี้สตรีมไปที่มีเนี่ยโอเคอ๋ออ๋อ I need to share the monitor to you right โอ้ยูทูบนิ่งเลยนะครับเอ็กซ์เลนต์คอนดิชันเลยผมไม่รู้ว่าเกิดอะไรขึ้นนะครับพอมันเซตได้แล้วก็เอ็กซ์เลนต์คอนดิชันจะไม่มีดีเลยอะไรเลยโอ้ทำไมโอเค we are at the the class e s s e n t e n c e file right we are going to See whether you appear in the classroom or not. And as I oh, what? How oh, my job is here. Ah, oh, yes. It might take a while. <laughs> นะครับถ้าใครจะลานะครับโปรดส่งก่อนนะครับไม่งั้นมันจะเกิดการสับสนตอนที่เช็คนะครับแล้วรู้สึกว่าเกิดสับสนจริงๆด้วยนะครับเห็นไหมครับลาเวลาเขาเนี่ยนะครับหกถึงสี่เวลาลาเขาส่งส่งก่อนเลยครับผมไม่แน่ใจ The monitor doesn't appear. คุณเห็นจอไหมครับเห็นจอไหมครับอ่า this one I in the YouTube I need to okay. ต่อไม่ไปนะทำไมก็ได้เจงของเจงเอนทาร์สวินหกศูนย์สี่จบเรื่องบริสเตอร์ลอนะครับก็สังกัดบ้านไปแล้วนะสำหรับเสาร์อาทิตย์นี้ Oh, no, no, no. สำหรับอาทิตย์หน้าครับส่งวันศุกร์หน้านะคุณก็เช่นเดียวกันนะน่าจะจบ register law I don't understand why the monitor cannot be shown โปรดตอบนิดนึงครับคุณเห็นเขาเรียกว่าอะไรนะ monitor นะครับผมแชร์ไปผมงงว่าทำไมมันไม่ขึ้นให้คุณอ
ขึ้นไปเอ่ย Can you see the monitor? The class attendance file. เห็นไหมครับไม่เห็นครับไม่เห็นต้องผมงงว่าทำไมมันไม่ขึ้นอ่าทำไมอ่ะอีกรอบ entire screen this one หรือผมต้องเข้าใหม่ What happened? But in the YouTube monitor, you can see that. Okay, now it comes. Okay, that's great. Oh, ช้ามากเครื่องนี้นะครับผมคงไม่กล้าลันละ Okay, the first person. Let me see you. อ่ากรครับกรเงินบำรุงนะครับครับผมอ uh, where is that กรอยู่คนไหนครับขอดูภาพนิดหนึ่งเนี่ยสิ่งที่น่ารักของหกศูนย์ห้าคือคุณคุณเปิดกล้องรอเลยไม่เหมือนหกศูนย์สี่ผมยังไม่เห็นกรนะครับอยู่ดีครับอยู่ดีครับ where is that ยุ่งไหนครับก่อนกำลังเลื่อนดูอยู่นะอ๋อนี่นี่นี่นี่ก่อนเห็นแล้วก่อนช่วยเปิดกล้องให้ผมเห็นหน่อยได้ไหมครับเห็นแล้วครับเห็นไหมครับเนี่ยครับผม stop screen แล้วกันนะครับแต่คุณเห็นไฟล์ใช่ไหมครับว่าผมกำลังเช็คโดยใช้อันนี้นะครับคือพอเปิดไฟล์ใหญ่แล้วมันก็ไม่เห็นคุณก่อนอยู่ตรงไหนครับโลครับโลนี้อ๋อโอเคเห็นแล้วครับก่อนโอเคฟายเพรสเซนต์เอ่อ let's go to the second person ครับมาครับครับครับปานาทอนครับปานาทอนครับผมอ่าปานก่อน let's the hand everything is fine with you ปานาทอน I'm going โอเคปานาทอนบันจงซิลิโอเค you have the rainbow behind you right โอเคครับ Everything fine. Let's talk about the third person. What she love it? Up, you don't know. Okay, what she love it? Okay, you in New York, like, tick song, right? Okay. Ah, fourth person, Supavit. You here, right? Supavit. Ah, fine. Everything is fine. Ah, fifth one, Natchawin, right? Yes, I'm. Yes. Okay, Natchawin. กริตภพ number six please สวัสดีครับโอเปิดนานๆครับให้ผมเห็นนานๆหน่อยกริตวิทย์ครับโอเคน่าจะอยู่ที่ประเทศกรีซหรืออะไรสักอย่างนะครับกริตภพไปแล้วต่อไปเซเว้นปาวิทย์ครับอยู่ครับครับอยู่ครับกริอะไรนะแต่ปาวิทย์ให้ผมเห็นนานๆนิดนึงครับคุณแวบเดียวหรือว่าผมต้องดูที่นี่อ๋อเห็นแล้วเห็นแล้วปาวิทย์โอเค thank you very much มีลายน้ำอยู่ข้างหลังครับคือสองตอนต้องดูว่าตรงไหนเห็นคุณชัดเจนโอเค the eight person ปีปีราทัศน์ครับปีราทัศน์หรือปีราทัศน์นะครับครับผมครับผมปีราทัศน์ Okay, fine. You see view so I don't know. Just a bit. Here, something. Okay, number nine. Got a wrong word, right? Got a wrong word. Okay, number nine. 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 Got a wrong word. อ๋อโอเคโอเคฟายอ่าโกสวงวัดเอาไว้น้ำมาเชนปาครับปาวัดอ่ามาเชนหน่อยครับ
อ่าโอเคอยู่มา้านะครับมา้าข้างหลังอ่า uh, number eleven which please eleven uh, which ครับไม่เลยโอเคอ่า twelve ธนกรมาค่ะธนกรโอเคฟายเอ่อนะ thirteen ปาทิหารครับสวัสดีครับอ่าโอเคครับกับโอยูกาแล็กซี่เลยดีฟสเปซเลยนะครับอ่าโฟร์ทีนชานนทอนพลีสมาครับมาครับเห็นไหมครับคนเดียวกันหรือเปล่าทำไมคล้ายๆกันเลยมุมกล้องอ่าชานนทอนจริงด้วยโอเคอ่าฟิฟทีนกิติวัฒน์ let me see you please รอครับวัดโอ้อยู่ที่หนังสือเรียบเลยครับกิตอ่าสิกสตีนทิรุตหอมเชื่อนทิรุตครับมาครับมาครับครับมาครับโอเคมาเลยอ่าพฤตินันเซเวนทีมาครับมาครับอยู่เนี่ยครับอ๋อโอเคครับ and let's go to the eighteen ปานนาชัดครับเอามาครับมาครับมาครับมาครับโอเคไฟล์ผมก็ไม่เคยพบคุณตัวเป็นๆก่อนสักครั้งครับจะได้จําว่าคุณคือใครจริงคุณให้ผมเห็นผ่านกล้องผมก็ไม่รู้ว่าตัวคุณจริงหรือเปล่าหรือรุ่นพี่รุ่นน้องครับแต่คาดว่าน่าจะใช่คงไม่มีน้องชายหรือพี่ชายมาเรียนเพราะวิชาฟิสิกส์มันค่อนข้างสมองนิดนึงครับ19นนทกร please มาครับสวัสดีครับอ่าโอเคอ่า20วัรินทอนครับวัรินทอนอายุเดียวเยสเดนทำไมตาเห็นไหมครับเห็นแล้วครับเห็นแล้วครับโอเคใส่ลงฟังอ่า21ระวินพลครับระวินพลนะครับเสียงได้ถูกต้องนะอยู่ที่ไหนโอเคไฟล์โอเคครับ it's fine อ่า22วารินวารินหรือวารินอยู่นี่ครับเห็นแต่เห็นแต่ผมนะครับครับผมเครื่องร้อนครับต้องชาร์จแบตโอเคโอเค no problem อ่า23พักสิทธิ์ครับครับมาครับสิทธิ์มาครับสวัสดีครับโอเคไฟล์ thank you สวัสดีครับ Um, everything is fine, right? Nobody has problem. Ah, uh, call in, คุณครับว่าคนที่ลาไปเตรียมสอบ i e l นะครับคือปรึกษาทั้งสองครูโคแล้วนะครับเขาบอกว่าไม่อยากให้นะครับก็ถือว่าเป็นขาดนะครับคือถ้าสอบลาไปสอบได้แต่ว่าการสอบครั้งนี้อการสอบครั้งนี้เป็นการสอบที่โรงเรียนจัดให้ครับผมซึ่งอยู่ในความดูแลของดรโชคนะครับอ้าวแล้วครับดรก็เป็นคนเป็นการสอบของอีพัสครับผมการสอบของอีพัสครับไม่ได้ไปสมัครสอบกันเองครับโรงเรียนมุกสมุกให้อ๋อคือโรงเรียนจัดให้ก็ตามแต่ว่าคือถ้าเวลาสอบได้แต่ว่าเวลาเตรียมนี่มันต้องต้องด้วยเหรอผมไม่เข้าใจนะครับเอออาจารย์ลองไปปรึกษาอาจารย์เคยไปสอบไปเอลไหมครับมันต้องทบทวนนิดนึงอะครับตอนก่อนสอบโอเคแล้วว่ากันนะครับเดี๋ยวผมเดี๋ยวผมเรียกว่าอะไรผมทำไฟล์ class attendance score นะครับว่าจะเป็นศูนย์หรือหนึ่งครับศูนย์ก็คือขาดเรียนนะครับแล้วก็หนึ่งก็คือเข้าเรียนเต็มๆแต่ถ้าลาเตรียมอย่างนี้อาจจะปกติจะมีศูนย์และหนึ่งนะครับเข้าเรียนที่ผมทำมาทั้งหมดสำหรับมหาวิทยาลัยก็ตามอาจจะเป็นมันเป็นศูนย์จุดห้าแล้วกันนะเพราะว่าครูโคทั้งสองท่านเขาก็บอกว่าเขาให้ขาดถ้าอย่างนี้นครับมันไม่ใช่เวลาที่คุณไปสอบจริงๆแต่ว่าผมครึ่งครึ่งแล้วกันครับกลางทางนะครับอ่าไม่อยากเข้มงวดเกินไปโอเคมาโอเคอ่ะ okay, um. so we need to start our story which is something about uh, 
snail's law, right? Oh, I didn't send you the the link of the YouTube, right? Okay, the home. Ah, link YouTube. Hang on. Don't delay now. Yeah, we need to live from Hong Kong soon. Hang on. Okay, live stream. Uh, M six zero five right this okay now if I want to see the video, come to YouTube. Because check the name, you. ผมไม่ค่อยสังเกตนะครับที่ว่าคุณปรากฏที่กล่องคือผมถือว่าทําทีเดียวพอละในการเช็คชื่อครับโอเค let's go to our story ผมอาจจะไม่ได้เรียกว่าอะไรไม่ได้ฟังเปิดฟังหูอย่างนี้ตลอดเวลาระหว่างที่สอนนะเพราะว่ามันไม่สะดวกครับดังนั้นถ้าถ้าคุณมีอะไรแจ้งครับแจ้งด่วนทางมีดก็ได้นะทางลายโทรทางลายก็ได้นะครับเข้าทางไหนก็ได้นะครับที่แจ้งคุณด่วนครับไม่ไม่ได้ยินไม่แตกไม่บึ้มหรืออะไรก็แล้วก็ตามนะครับโอเคเอ็ม Please let me go to the toilet for a while due to the uh the due to drinking too much coffee. Okay. Um, the voice is all right, right? Uh, 
Let me check the um, okay, fine. So we need to uh, see the lecture notes, right? ที่พิมพ์มาก็นะครับถ้าไฟล์ไม่ตรงไงครับคุณก็ใช้หลักฐานงานนั้นมาแจ้งผมครับบางทีผมก็ผิดพลาดนะเพราะมันต้องคุมหลายอย่างมากนะครับคุมทั้งกล้องนะครับทั้งไมโครโฟนนะครับเพราะโควิดอย่างอย่างเดียวทําให้เกิดปัญหามากมายครับ okay we are we are talking about the We are now. Huh? I don't understand why the lecture note doesn't go to you. Google me now, Mark. Any problem? Any problem? Any problem? Any problem? Any problem? Any Yes, I'm presenting, but uh, but the lecture notes doesn't appear. Huh? มันไม่ปรากฏไม่ขึ้นครับหรือว่าผมออกมาเข้าใหม่ Okay, does it go? I may have there you two, yeah. My law, I don't have lecture notes. Sorry, okay. Big LED, I'm going to go on. ไปไหมครับยังไม่ไปนะครับไปตอนนั้นจะแจ้งเดี๋ยวผมขอครับเดี๋ยวผมขอออกแล้วเข้าใหม่ดีกว่านะเพราะว่าEntire screen. Okay. Uh, 
in M605, last time I I was a little bit late, right? Because I because I would like to finish the the snail straw. Okay, but at the end we didn't we almost reached the the Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Mm. All right. Okay. Um, we are on page uh, 80, right? It's not our case. We need to uh, complete the snail's law on page 75. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, previously, uh, we get this ratio, right? Uh, VA by VB equals uh, NB by NA and R uh, from the basic relationship at the beginning of uh, this topic um, there is a relationship between the sign okay, okay, of the reflecting component divided by the sign uh, sinusoid function uh, of the incident angle of theta a uh, will be equal to the ratio of uh, velocity of the light of the electromagnetic wave in the second um, substance divided by the velocity of the light or electromagnetic wave in the first substance that's denoted by a and b respectively in uh, of course, we need to get back to the to the whiteboard. Okay. Uh, the camera. The camera. Camera. It's this one. Okay. Hello, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, T U two, I have in have one. I'm going to change my name. Okay. In uh, in Google Meet, I need to stop presenting. Okay. In change the microphone as well. If you have a problem in uh, receiving the the voice, okay, the audio, just let me know. If not, we are going ahead. We will go ahead with the snail's law, okay. In M604, they have uh, finished the first example of the light propagation and during the daytime already. Okay, again, let's remind ourselves our story, the propagation of the light, which is a kind of electromagnetic wave, okay, which is only one band of the electromagnetic wave. It propagates from the first matter or subst first substance. In, uh, we have two substances, right? The second substance or the second matter. And there is the boundary. Uh, there is the boundary between both substances. And the incoming angle is called uh, incident angle. Okay, let's it's theta a. Okay, and uh, uh, this one is um, theta r. But uh, we have me panha, เรื่องเสียงอะไรไหมครับโปรดแจ้งได้เลยนะครับ. 
this is theta a and this is uh, theta b okay which is the the, the refracting lifting angle uh, in the second component uh, so in the second uh, substance uh, which is called uh, substance b let's say and uh, we just uh, what we got previously is the relationship uh, velocity of uh, in the first substance, uh, substance A divided by uh, the uh, velocity or speed in the second substance E equals okay, the opposite, sorry, 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 it's NB. Okay, NB divided by NA. And another relation uh, from the beginning is uh, the ratio between uh, uh, the incoming, or sorry, the reflecting angle, the sinus, the side function of the reflecting uh, angle divided by the side of the uh, incoming or incident angle, which is uh, theta A equals um, velocity, and uh, B and uh, velocity or speed in the first uh, substance. And after you I'll replace the right hand side of this one by this uh, equality. What you get will be will be a right, right? And uh, it's going to be psi. Again, on the left hand side, everything remains the same. Uh, psi of um, theta a equals um, on this one. Okay, it has the same relationship. Okay, be above uh, a below, but uh, after we replace uh, this ratio by the index indices of refraction, what we uh, are going to have will be something different in the opposite way. Okay, um, it will be n a by n b, right? And uh, oh, sorry, sorry. If you uh, don't want the ratio uh, expression, you can move uh, one uh, term to another side so that it becomes uh, on both sides. We are going to get uh, the the on both sides. We are going to get the um, the product of that. What happens if I don't you? see me on the whiteboard uh, you can see me on the whiteboard right ทุกคนอ่าที่มีนะครับเห็นผมที่กระดานมั้ยครับเห็นผมที่กระดานมั้ยเอ่ยเพราะว่าตอนนี้พูดที่กระดานนะครับอ่าวอทเอวเห็น
terms are side of the the angle in the second substance, which is uh, theta b. Okay. Now everything is in order. Okay, a and b, and it both at both sides we have the product of index of refraction and the psi function of the angle at each uh, substance. Okay, and this one. Okay, he is known as the discovery by uh, William Broad, Snellius. Okay, it's simply called uh, Snell's law. Okay, it's called Snell uh, Snell's law, and that's it for this expression. Okay, that's the Snell's law. You may have ever seen uh, this expression before. Okay, and let's get back to. The lecture notes. Uh, let's get back to the lecture notes. I'm just going to have to change to my phone. Okay, now present entire screen. This one. So uh, now we go ahead on the page uh, seventy seventy six. Okay, we have already passed the Snell's law, right? In uh, in this figure. It's a diff, uh, it's it's special for us because we are studying uh, some behavior of the some behavior of uh, the light propagation in uh, in uh, two substances. In our main interest, okay, our main interest is the polarization. Okay, how the light are it's their electric field orientation, okay? That's our first, uh, our main interest. Okay, let's take a look at this figure. This is the incoming light, okay? Um, what is the symbol of uh, the Markenta arrows here? What is the, what is this, the meaning of this one, okay? This is the light that we have, uh, seen earlier okay it has different directions of the electric fields okay and uh it means uh the light can have any possible direction of the electric field okay there is no a certain uh direction or orientation of the electric field so we call this one uh the light the light like this uh, as the unpolarized light, okay, because this light has many directions or many orientations of the electric It's not a tidy, okay, the, the electric field orientation is not tidy, it's not in order for us, okay. So this light just propagates to, uh, okay, let me first. There is the first. There is uh, a first substance here. Okay, let's say it's substance A. Okay, and this substance has the index of refraction, which is uh, denoted by the variable in its subscript A. Okay, of course, this is what we have seen before. It's the uh, index of refraction, which is the ratio between this. The light speed in the vacuum divided by the light speed in such material, in that material. In uh, these light just propagate in straight line like this, okay, there will be 
a source of the light like this, okay, when we consider only a narrow beam, which can be, uh, which can be treated as uh, a straight line like this, okay, and uh, it just hits the boundary, boundary between the first substance, and let's talk about this substance. This is the second substance, uh, this is, this figure is shown in 3D, okay, three-dimensional space, okay, 3D view, let's say. And uh, the second material is called material B, and it has its own index of refraction, which is uh, in with uh, subscript B, okay. It depends on each situation, whether it's water, it's glass, or it's, it's any kind of liquid or metal or solid, okay. In uh, of course, this one we hit the boundary. Okay, let's say the boundary uh, of the, these two materials is a smooth. Okay, the boundary surface here is smooth uh, for simplicity. Okay, if uh, we don't consider the smooth surface, we would not get easy problem to analyze. Okay. Um, and uh, at this point, okay, the light is going to have uh, reflection like this, okay, it propagates uh, from the heating point to, uh, to this direction. And uh, as you know, from the second, uh, from the second, the second law in geometrical, uh, where is my M? Uh, yeah. uh, you know from the second law in the geometrical optics, the principle of the ge geometrical optics, there will be uh, there will be reflection component, right? reflecting components, and the angle here, which is called reflecting angle, will be the same as the incident or incoming angle. So, actually. This is uh, theta A, right? Theta A, because this is the angle uh, in the matter A or the substance A, right? But, uh, okay, we will not talk about theta B. Theta B will come later. This is theta A. This is um, theta A, right? Uh, at the incident, uh, incident or input components. And it will be first, uh, the reflecting components, okay, it has propagation in this direction, and uh, this angle is going to be denoted by theta r, okay, which uh, represent the reflection or reflecting components, okay. But uh, what we know earlier from the second law in the principle of geometrical uh, optics, uh, it says that the incident angle will be the same as the uh, the reflecting uh, angle. Okay, that's the second law in the geometrical principles. But let's talk about the second component that can happen. Uh, the light can propagate through the second material, which is material B, okay, in this direction. Uh, the dash line means it's not easy easily visible, okay, because this one is inside the material B, but this one can be seen, okay, it, it's directly in uh, in the second uh, second material. This angle should be uh, theta B, okay, because it's the angle measured in the B side, okay, the material B side. And uh, that's the normal situation, but uh, what the physicists uh, have observed is the following. If you let the lights propagate with the angle of with a certain or spatial value of angle, okay, if your incident angle has a spatial value, uh, the reflecting lights will have the E field, the E field orientation like this. Okay, let's consider first the reflecting component. The the E field, the electric field orientation will be parallel to, uh, I forgot to mention. Okay, in the first law 
of the principle of the uh, geometrical optics, the four lines, okay, the incident lay, the reflecting ray, okay, the reflecting light, okay, reflecting ray, yeah, the second line, and the third line, which is reflecting ray, okay, reflecting ray, the fourth line, which is the normal line here, normal, okay, we all lie in the same plane as in the first uh, first law or first rule in the principle of the geometrical, okay? And that plane is called plane of incidence, okay? Which is denoted by the yellow plane here, okay? It's a smooth uh, surface, okay? And uh, there will be another surface, okay? Another plane which is also smooth, that one is called reflecting surface, okay? The, the field orientation for the reflecting components, the reflecting layer, will be parallel to the reflecting surface, okay? This is, uh, this is the plane of reflecting surface, and here is the E field, electric field orientation, which is the, the side uh, for orientation observation, uh, for the E field polarization, not uh, observation, okay? We will consider the, uh, the polarization of the lights by, uh, by t um, taking a look at the, how the E field is orient oriented, right? Which is this one, okay? The E field is parallel to the surface, okay? This will happen only when you let the light propagate with a spatial angle, okay? And that angle is called uh, theta p, okay? It's called a uh, polarizing angle, okay? If you let the light propagate in a different value other than this, okay? You will not get this uh, single orientation of the E field, okay? You won't get that if you let the light propagate with different or other values of the in incident angle, incident ray, okay? But if you let the lights propagate with, uh, with spatial angle, you will get the, the E field orientation uh, like this, okay? It's parallel to the reflecting surface, okay? As you know earlier, if the light had a, has a single orientation of the E field like this, we are going to call this light as the uh, the light with uh, with uh, linear polarization. Okay, if we have a single uh, orientation of the of the E field, we would say that light has a single. Uh, sorry, it has a linear polarization. Let's take a look. Uh, let's talk about the. The second output component, which is the reflecting layer, okay, it propagates to through the second uh, material, okay. Of course, we know that uh, there will be an angle, which is the angle measured also from the normal line. It's called theta b. But uh, if you let the light propagate with uh, propagates with the with a spatial value, which is called a polarizing angle theta p. Uh, these components, the reflecting components, will uh, have only two uh, orientations of the E field. What I forgot to to you is that the reflecting components, the reflecting lights, will have will have less intensity than the uh, the incoming lights. Okay, the the incident uh, ray. Okay, the intensity here will be less than the intensity at the input side. You know why? Because only uh, some lights, only some amount of lights will be reflected, okay, from the atom of the second uh, material, okay? But part of them can propagate, propagate through the, the atoms or molecules of the second material, and that's, uh, 
that uh, component is the reflecting light. We have also spatial behavior, okay? In this reflecting light, uh, it's going to have only two orientation, okay? The first orientation of the E field will be the same as the reflecting one, okay? And this component, the, the E field here, Okay, it will be also parallel to the surface, uh, the reflecting surface, okay, or surface of reflection, okay. Uh, this E field, okay, this E field will be parallel to the uh, reflecting surface, and there will be another orientation of the E field, okay, which is 90 degree, okay, perpendicular to the formal orientation of the E field, okay, in uh, the light in the second component is strong, okay? And uh, we would not say it's fully polarized, okay? It's not completely polarized because it has two orientation of the, uh, of the E fields. So we would say slightly polarized, okay? Or we would say slight uh, polarization, okay? But the the intensity of the light here is stronger than the one above in the reflecting uh, uh, reflecting component, okay? And that's the uh, happen when you let the light propagate with a spatial value of the incident angle, okay? If not, these uh, properties, the orientation of the E field in both components will not hold at all, okay? Let's move to the Next page, and this is what I uh, what I have explained it already. And here is the two D view. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Okay, I'm back to the uh, side view, okay, side view of the scenes in the previous figure. Um, this is the two-dimensional view, okay, the side view of the previous figure. The previous figure uh, is, the, is the one in, uh, in uh, 3D view, okay, and I don't understand why this one doesn't go ahead at all. The problem is why. What happens? Okay. Uh, meet. 
น่าจะหลุดนะครับวันนี้โอ้หลุดนะครับวันนี้ขออนุญาตมอนิเตอร์นิดนึงครับมีวิธีวิธีมายนัสมีวิธีมายนัสมายเอ็กซ์ไซเจสามวิธีมีมายนัสเอ็กซ์โอเดียมนอร์มัลฟอนน้องคะโอเค so that I can see what's going on in our lecture okay thank you very much um here we are live at this figure and uh, we are going to get uh, some uh, formula right uh, you have seen already the spatial type of the uh, EFI orientation okay which is called Uh, polarization okay in uh, one more thing that the physicists have found is the following which is uh, the story for us to get some calculation of course this is the incoming light right that has uh, that has any possible uh, direction of the e f i e l d right and it just uh, comes with the angle Uh, theta a okay when when uh, you let the light propagate with a spatial value it's called polarizing angle which is denoted by theta p there will be some spatial effects as you have seen earlier okay the this is the the notation of the e f i e l okay e f i e l is parallel to the surface okay which is um, uh, reflecting surface okay and this is the air okay this is the first uh, substance here is the second substance and uh this is the uh the reflecting reflecting uh components reflecting ray and the angle which is measured from the normal line is theta b okay here in the uh, reflecting ray okay there will be two uh orientation orientations uh, for the e f i e l okay the uh, the f the first one is the one which is parallel to the leaf uh, reflecting surface okay which is the same direction as in the reflecting reflecting comets okay this one has the same direction uh, as the direction of the e d e f i e l d In the reflecting components, but there will be also another the, uh, orientation of the e f i e l d Okay, this one is 90 degree to the first orientation. Okay, that's what you have seen in the 3D views. That's why that's why we need to see two types of figure. Okay, because it's quite difficult to to see uh, every structure in in this. Uh, Uh, phenomenon. Um, the special special thing that happens, the physicists have, that physicists have found is the following: when you let the light propagate with a spatial value of the angle, you will get uh, the right angle. Okay, which is 90 degree here. Okay, this 90 degree is. In between the two output rays, okay, 90 degrees will happen. Will take place between the reflecting ray and the reflecting ray. Okay, the ray in the first uh, substance and the ray in the second substance. Okay, you will get 90 degree. If you let the light propagate in the different value of the incidence angle. You will not, okay. You won't 
you will not get the right the right angle the 90 degrees here okay and uh we are going to reach the what time is it? we still have 27 help it we could uh can we need to go to the whiteboard and i will be live i will be live the brewster law to you Okay, uh, we move to the white rod and we need to shame all the microphone, okay? Um, and as, okay, here in the figure, uh, as you know, this is the uh, incident ray, okay? You have polarization angle. Uh, it actually theta a okay, but if you let the light propagate with the spatial value of angle, which is uh, theta p, it is the audio fine? You can hear me, right? I use the wireless uh, microphone when I move to the whiteboard, okay, so that uh, we would not lose uh, the the explanation. Okay, um, this is the output uh, ray, okay, that's the the reflecting uh, ray, this is the uh, reflecting ray, okay? Reflecting, refracting, okay? Reflecting ray, reflecting ray. And this one has uh, linear polarization, right? This one is, uh, this one has uh, almost complete uh, polarization, okay? There are two orientation of the light, but it's not, uh, the main target for us right now. But another important thing is that the angle between the reflecting component and the reflecting ray will be 90 degree, okay? Will be right angle. And what we have got before is the snail's law, right? We are going to go ahead with the snail's law by observing the... Uh, the lie in uh, the um by observing the total angle in a straight uh, along the straight line if we draw that figure uh clearly again we know that this oh, no 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 uh we are going to draw this line right this is the normal normal axis normal line we will say normal line right and uh, this one is the uh, le reflecting component okay reflecting uh reflecting component reflecting lay okay and uh, this one uh, is called uh le Refracting, okay, reflecting, reflecting lay or reflecting, reflected lay. What they say is this angle will be right angle. If you let the light propagate with the polarizing angle, theta p, this one will be right angle, which is 90 degree, right? I hope that you can see it uh, in the on the whiteboard, right? You can hear as well. Okay. Um, but what we know previously is that this is the reflecting angle, which is the same, okay, which is the same value as the incident angle. And if we let the light propagate with theta p polarizing angle, this one should be also theta p. And this is the reflecting angle, okay, which which she's already in the B material, okay? It's reflecting angle, okay? It should be denoted by theta B, right? And you know that this is, the normal is a straight line, okay? A straight line. The angle for one side, in one side of a straight line, 
will remain 180 degrees, right? And if we use this relation, we can say that uh, first, the first angle is theta p, right? Theta p plus, this is the first angle. This is the second angle, which is 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees. And the last one is theta b. B remains 180 degrees. Okay, that's the normal typical knowledge you get from the uh, maybe in the primary school. Okay, we get uh, theta p plus 90 degree plus theta b equals 180. We are going to find what exactly uh, theta b is. So you just move theta p to the right hand side. You just move. 90 degree to the right hand side and what you get will be um theta b will be 180 degrees minus the first one you move to the right is going to be negative right theta p you move 90 degree to the left uh, to the right hand side is going to be minus or negative okay and you know that um 180 and 90 okay the subtraction of these two numbers is going to be 90 degrees again and minus theta p, right? And that's the first uh, relationship we, we are going to use, okay? In, uh, from the Snell's law, okay, let's get back to the Snell's law. This is the result we have got recently. In, uh, we are going to substitute theta b, okay, into this formula. At this portion we have here theta b okay theta b is there okay uh okay now when we substitute this scenario into the snail's law we are going to get uh we are going to have um let's apply the snail law snail's law to that uh, uh phenomenon we get uh na okay and psi um, theta, the incoming, okay, the incoming angle is theta A, and we can say that, but if we let the light propagate with a spatial value of the incident angle, let's say it's theta B, we will substitute theta A by theta P. Theta P, okay, equals, uh, this one is NB, right, because we are considering the second substance, which is title B, okay, and uh, this one is side theta, theta B, okay, because the, the refracting angle is theta B, and as we know, uh, theta B, it has a relation uh, to theta P uh, by 90 degree minus theta P, okay, because if you let the light propagate with a polarizing angle, you get 90 degree. Okay, between those two layers, in our uh, here we need to substitute theta uh, b from this equation, which is um, ninety degree uh, minus uh, theta p into this position. In uh, you can see that you get a uh, psi uh, psi. Um, Okay, psi theta b will be actually psi uh, 90 degree minus theta p, right? This one. But uh, what you know before is the following uh, from your uh, last two years of uh, the last one year, you know the trigonometric identity uh, psi of uh, 90 degree of pi by 2 minus x okay will be equal to will be equal to um what is that it's it remains a uh, cosine of x right and this is the uh, one of the trigonometric identities that we need to to know okay especially when you are at the high school level here now sine 90 degree minus x is equal to cosine x 
and of course, for our scenario, we will get uh, this one, okay? We will have cosine of uh, theta p only, okay? We get everything in terms of theta p, okay? Because theta p is, is a miracle angle, we would say that, okay? Miracle angle. And uh, now, this term is actually cosine theta p. We will go ahead with the snail's law to see what uh, what's going on further. Uh, can I remove this? I'm call up Anina. Okay, but I will not leave this expression because it's still useful further. Okay, um. In the snail's law, we have on the left hand side uh, n a. I'm not sure whether it's too. I don't know. Okay, it's fine. n a times uh, psi uh, theta p. Okay, a miracle angle, polarizing angle, and e equals n b, right? n b and psi theta b. But we will not leave psi theta b anymore because it's actually e equals it's actually cosine theta p so we write down here cosine of the angle a uh, polarizing angle theta p okay and uh, you can observe that you can see that we have the same angle theta p on both sides okay is it possible to move everything so that theta p stay uh, theta p terms can stay together and remove the re remaining terms to the sides, okay? What we can do is, ah, psi is here, cosine theta p is here. You move, you can move it both way, okay? The cosine to the left-hand side, in a to the right-hand side. So you get on the left-hand side, psi um, theta p divided by cosine um, theta p equals okay and be on the right side stay at the numerator and we move in a from the left hand side to the right hand side it will stay at the denominator position and what you know from trigonometric identity what is that this is this ratio what is actually this ratio what is the meaning of that it's the tangent function right it's a tangent function so uh, we get um, 10, okay, 10 theta p equals nb, okay, nb, index of refraction in the second material, in the B material, and index of refraction in the first substance or the first material. And that's it, okay? And we get this law, which is called Brewster's law. But what is the, uh, what, is the use, uh, what is the benefit from this expression? This benefit, uh, the benefits from this expression is the following. Okay, we can, we can determine uh, the, the angle, the, the miracle angle, theta p or the polarizing angle by the ratio between NB, okay, the, uh, the index reflection in the in the second material uh, to the index of reflection in the first material, which is NA, okay. And uh, how could we do that? We just use uh, the inverse function, uh, inverse trigonometric function, okay. You know that. Uh, please, one thing I need to mention is the following. Please don't uh, use uh this kind of thing as the in as the inverse function because you can have two different things it means what this may be what you would like to find okay it's at side x but it can be uh interpreted as uh it's one by psi as well okay and this one is actually co second Okay, which is not we, what we want. Okay, we don't we don't want a cosecant at, at all. So please 
avoid the use of inverse function like this, okay? Usually ARC act as the inverse function of the trigonometric functions. And as I mentioned before, as I, as I mentioned earlier, and in that uh, area, we will use this type of notation, okay, to represent the inverse function at 10. Okay, we won't use the power of minus one, okay? It's simple to write, but this, it can bring us uh, ambiguity, okay? It may make us, it may make uh, us uh, to get confused, okay? And uh, this is 10, uh, 10 theta p. It may make us uh, confused, okay? And uh, on the right hand side, you get also the arc 10, okay, arc 10 of uh, NB by A, by A, and uh, here. And on the left hand side, okay, the, can the inverse function will cancel the, the normal function. And what you get will be theta P, okay, equals uh, arc 10. Arc 10 in uh, NB by NA, okay, and this is uh, what do we need to be able to remember, okay, it's called, uh, this one is called uh, Brewster, Brewster, Brewster uh, law, okay, it's Brewster law, okay. Snail law is what you have seen earlier, okay, this is snail law, but this one is Brewster law, which is, uh, very, which, which is useful for us in, in, in this uh, topic. Oh, we still have 10 minutes, right. Okay, we move to the lecture notes. Or to the lecture notes. Um. In time screen. Okay, let's get back to the to the lecture notes. All right. I may have Google Meet by my lecture notes. Google Meet at shop. I may have Google. Okay. I'll just have a line right now. Team Meet now. Okay. We uh, are here at the lecture notes and uh, we have just recently discovered a law, okay, which is called Brewster law, right? This one, okay. This is the step during I uh, delivered to you, and uh, the result is this one, okay? This expression is called uh, Brewster law, okay, and I have shown the the more complete version, which is the arc 10 version, expression of this one, okay, arc 10 expression of 20, uh, 21, okay. Uh, okay, the Brewster law says that um, if the light propagates, if the tangent of the incident angle is equal to uh, the ratio between the two indices of the refraction, okay, you will get the reflected light, which is completely polarized. Okay, the reflecting components of the light will have linear polarization. Okay, or completely, completely polarized. Okay, it's the same meaning. Uh, both others uh, both have the same meaning. Okay, um, let's go forward to uh, the first example. Uh, sunlight reflects off the smooth surface of an an occupied swimming pool. Okay, um, what is the reason why we, we need to mention an occupied swimming pool? Because if someone 
is swimming in the swimming pool, okay, there will be some fluctuation of the water surface, okay. It so the the surface of the water, the water surface will not be smooth, okay. If the surface of the reflecting uh, or if the surface of the reflection is not smooth, it's difficult for us to analyze or to calculate, okay. You have to go f above to uh, bachelor degree or higher level to be able to compute that scenario. But for us in uh, the high school level, we uh, consider only the smooth surface case of the water in the swimming pool only, okay. This is the lights, okay, the sunlight, which is the kind of electromagnetic wave, okay, and let's, uh, the, uh, the indices of reflex, reflection, uh, actually, this is not, uh, it's not correct, this, uh, reflection, reflective, okay, of the air, B in air, uh, equal one, and uh, reflection, reflecting index of the water is 1.33. Uh, if you don't understand this configuration, just take a look at the free body uh, diagram here, okay? This is the sunlight propagating uh, to the surf, the boundary between uh, the air, okay? Boundary, boundary between the air and the water, okay? The water in the swimming pool, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter whether how much you uh, uh, inputs, okay, in, how much the chlorine inside the water is, doesn't matter. Let's say it's, it has the index of reflection as uh, 1.33. There will be two components as we have said, reflecting components, okay, and reflecting components, okay. Of course, uh, there will be incident angle on the left side and uh, of the reflecting components on the right side and there will be uh, at the third angle. There will be the third angle uh, which is called uh, reflecting angle. Okay, reflecting angle. And uh, let's get back to the question in this uh, example. The first question is, at what angle of reflection is the light completely polarized? Okay, uh, what does that mean? It means what is the value of reflecting angle here, yeah. okay, and according to our second rule in the principle of geometric optics, the reflecting angle will be the same as the incident angle, okay, the incoming angle will be the same as the output angle, okay, in terms of reflection, okay, it doesn't mean theta p will be equal to this one, oh, no, 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 no. Um, that's the first question, okay? They would like to know uh, what angle of the reflection will make the light here uh, completely polarized, okay? It means you will get the linear polarization of the light in this component. So let's get back to the, to the uh, white box so that we can make the duration. We have still three minutes. Talking me stop the same thing. Okay. And this one. We get back to the white board. We change the microphone. We change the microphone. No, no. Okay. Uh, get back to the white spot. เดี๋ยวสามนาทีนะครับผมต้องอย่างเร็วนะครับเพื่อว่าจะได้จบตัวอย่างนี้ก็รอ
กูดโน้ตนะครับเขียนให้คุณเนาะตามที่คุณร้องขอนะครับพอคุณร้องขออะไรผมก็ทําให้คุณหมดนะครับอโอเค they ask uh, what value of the reflecting angle let's say uh, the light view have linear polarization when uh, the incoming angle the incident angle will be equal to a miracle angle or, or spatial angle or polarizing angle right and from the uh, from the second law in the principle of the geometrical optics it says that the incident angle is equal to the reflecting angle so this angle will be equal to this one okay if we find this angle it will be the same as the the angle that the uh, example asks so we use the Brewster law which is uh, theta p right equals uh, arc 10 of okay please note that the Brewster's Brewster's law said the ratio between the index of reflection in the destination side, okay, the second side divided by the index of reflection at the first side, okay, so it's B uh, by NA, okay, and what you we know, the first subset is the air, okay, NA is in index of reflection of the air, okay, which is 1.0. And in D, okay, the destination side, the second side, the second substance is the index of the reflection, uh, index of reflection for the water, okay? And uh, probably just say it's 1.33, okay? And uh, if we substitute uh, this value into that expression, it's arc 10, um, arc 10 of uh, theta, water theta water divided by uh, theta air oh sorry it's in sorry in air in water and in air so this one is arc 10 um in water is 1.33 okay divided by 1.00 so you use the calculator okay you need to have electronic calculator like this, or you just put it in any uh, website, you will get the value, which is um, 53 degrees, okay? And that's it, This the, an the answer for the first question. And the second question in this example is that they ask us about what is the value of the reflecting components, okay? For make up by T, what is the value of theta b? So, as you, as we have got before, theta b has the relation to uh, the polarizing angle by this expression, right? 90 degree minus theta p, okay? If you know theta p, you will get the refracting angle, which is theta b, okay? Theta b is the angle at the second substance okay the material b but but, but uh, we just have got uh we have recently got the, the polarizing angle here yeah, well, or reflecting angle okay we can determine also the angle in the second substance which is 90 degrees minus 53 degrees okay it's equal to uh it's equal to 37 degrees and that's it for the second question in this example uh nanga hu thang mot nahap samlap uh uh lecture one ni nahap but wa pom nahap pom ko pom ko sang kan ba ni nun nahap song wan suk na nahap pe wa kun cha dai top tuan nahap top tuan song wan suk na nahap kan ba nahap หนึ่งข้อนะครับปัญหาก็คือให้ไปนะครับให้ไปหาโจทย์ใดๆก็ได้นะครับโจทย์ใดๆก็ได้ที่ที่เกี่ยวข้องกับเรื่องของบริวสเตอร์ลอโอเคไหมครับไม่เอาเรื่องสเนลส์ลอนะครับสเนลส์ลอคือสิ่งที่คุณเรียนมาแล้วได้มสี่หรือมห้านะครับอันนี้ผมแค่มาทวนแบบละเอียดๆให้คุณอีกรอบนึงครับเดี๋ยว
อยู่ดีผมขึ้นบริสเตอร์ลอมาไม่รู้ที่มาที่ไปนะเพราะว่าผมไม่ได้สอนคุณแม้งแต่มสีมห้านะ so uh the homework is for the next week okay the submission time is next Friday okay you have one week just find any problem that has the relation to the Brewster formula okay use the Brewster formula this one equation equation 21 okay กันบ้านนะครับหาโจทย์ใดๆก็ได้นะครับที่เกี่ยวข้องกับการเดินทางของอิเล็กโทรแมกนิกเวฟจะไม่เป็นไม่เป็นแสงไลท์ก็ได้นะครับแต่ขอให้มี2 substance นะครับ2 material นะครับแล้วคุณก็ไปหา index refraction นะครับบนตารางก่อนหน้านี้ก็ได้นะครับใช้ค่าจากตารางก่อนหน้านี้ที่หน้าหน้าเจ็ดหรือหน้าเจ็ก็ได้นะครับจะมี index of refraction คุณไปเลือกเอา material อะไรก็ได้นะครับที่คุณชอบนะครับอย่าลอกกันนะครับอย่าใช้ค่าเดียวกันลอกเดียวกันค่าเดียวกันมีทำให้ผมเข้าใจว่าคุณคุณลอกกันได้โอเคไหมครับ If you have any question just raise your hand and let me know I'm going to put the mic uh, the headphone uh, so that I can hear uh, what you may ask me I'm sorry for being late again okay. uh, มีคำถามอะไรครับ If not We are going to quit our lecture note, uh, lectures today. Okay. มีคำถามครับไม่มีเราก็จบกันวันนี้เท่านี้นะครับ See you on, or uh, see you tomorrow afternoon, right? Bye bye, Rab. สวัสดีครับ Stop the call.